Okay, this is a video analysis of running contacts. This is Bob. He is jumping 24 or 26 in this video. But that's kind of irrelevant because we're just going to look at contacts mostly. So, I believe I do a running start here. Yeah, so I didn't lead out. Can't really see because all these people are in the way, but running start. And then I just run. And I'm ahead of him as he loads. Still ahead, still ahead. And right here, he passes me. But you can see he was solid in the yellow. Awesome running contacts. No collection anywhere. Same stride the whole time. And he lands. And I have never taught my dogs to turn tight off dog walks few of you have had this discussion with, so I turn them on the ground, get them in the tunnel. Okay, let's see the A-frame. This A-frame I do a blind cross. So here I'm sending him. I'm getting ready to move. I didn't pause there for a bit, and I'm going to blind cross. So as he loads, I'm ahead. You can see my feet through there. I'm still ahead. Still ahead, way ahead. Look back over my right shoulder. And again, he's nice and solid in the yellow. I'm, I don't know, eight feet, five feet ahead. So on a blind cross with a running A-frame, you have to trust to send your dog to load, and you have to book. And then it's really important that you show your head and hand, and your shoulders also, turning to whatever side the dog is supposed to come up on. If you don't show those cues is when the dog gets confused. So try to be clear on um, which direction you want your dog to come up on, otherwise they will start choosing, which can be bad. We don't want our dogs to choose what they want to do. So Bobby actually has really good running contacts. How many strides is that off the top there? I think two. One, two. Um, his are even better than hose, I think. Good boy.